That's right viewers, this is Prachi here and I'm going to show you how I made the world's largest samosa. So to make the samosa, first you're going to need potato stuffing. Now I have already made a potato stuffing in my previous Vada Pao video. So please friends, go ahead and check it out. And that's exactly how I made this potato stuffing. And it was yummy. Now for the outer covering, please comment in the section below and I'm going to make a separate video of how to make the best crispy samosa cover. Now let's assemble the world's first largest homemade samosa. So to get this miracle worked out, I have my potato stuffing ready, I have my dough ready and I have a rolling pin and some extra flour ready to go. To begin with, let's make sure we have nice and clean hands. Here I have some rice flour and all-purpose flour mixed 50-50 and I'm going to pour some right here and get my samosa cover started. Roll my sleeves up and I'm going to try to flatten this dough. I'm making sure it's covered with flour that way it doesn't stick and since I don't have such a big rolling pad I have cleaned my island here and I'm going to use my island as the base for rolling the samosa cover. I'm going to roll my dough in a D shape that way it's easy for me to assemble my samosa. Row, row, row your boat! I'm so excited to make the samosa come to life. I have the samosa cover rolled out now. Now let's get started on putting our stuffing in and rolling it and bringing it all together. By the way, this is the most exciting thing I've ever cooked. Look at this, that is a lot of stuffing. Before I put my stuffing in, I'm going to make sure that my dough is a perfect D. And the excess piece is out. What am I gonna do with this one? Normally, you would make a cone of this dough and then put the stuffing in. But right now, I'm going to make my mountain stuffing go in first. Rolling the samosa dough on this epic samosa stuffing. Ta-da, ta-da! Time for the other side. To make sure it doesn't come out, I'm going to stick it with some water. Ooh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. This ginormous samosa is ready! I obviously need something like this to get my project started. Now, instead of putting my samosa in the oil and have a big splash, here's what I'm going to do. Put the samosa in there, in a very little bit oil, and then add some more hot oil on it. Time for the beast to go in! never poured or even looked at so much hot oil at one time. Pouring it, pouring it on my samosa. Epic samosa! Now I know I love samosas, but I didn't know that I would go to these lengths to get a gigantic samosa. It looks like it's almost done. I have to make sure I don't hurt the samosa because it has feelings too. <laughs> Epic! World's first largest homemade samosa right here for you guys! Time to devour this beast! Mm. Oh, you are the best samosa I've ever had! I love this samosa more than any other in the entire world! Thanks for watching! Please like, share and subscribe to more craziness!